Today, I will review 4 legendary weapons of the Great River Snail Boss. Please follow NDL and send a thousand times of happiness to your loved ones. Hello everyone, I am NDL. The 4 legendary weapons are Bastard Sword of the Great River Snail, Lance of the Great River Snail, Sword and Shield of the Great River Snail, Staff of the Great River Snail. You can find these weapons on the Bullrush Marshes map. First, let's talk about the Bastard Sword of the Great River Snail. When attacking normally, it swings once, and there is no special effect. When fully charged, it swings wide and releases spikes, which are considered bullets and can be supported by fate bounds like multi-shot, lock-on, similar to the weapons of Medusa. I have made a video on my channel about it. You can check it out after watching this video. Next is the Lance of the Great River Snail. When attacking normally, it thrusts the spear towards the enemy, causing high damage but not attacking many enemies. When fully charged, it charges forward, knocking down all enemies in its path. Overall, this weapon is not too powerful, but because it has a shield, using this weapon will increase your defensive ability, helping you take less damage from enemies. Next is the Sword and Shield of the Great River Snail. When attacking normally, this weapon swings quite wide, so when you approach a crowded group of enemies, it can attack them better than the lance. When fully charged, it jumps up and swings down to the ground, creating three large rocks, causing considerable damage and also used for breaking walls. It is excellent for classes that do not have wall-breaking skills. I have also made a video about wall-breaking weapons. I will leave the link in the pinned comment for you to follow easily. Finally, the Staff of the Great River Snail. When attacking normally, the magic staff creates an ice ball, causing enemies to take ice damage. When fully charged, it releases a beam of ice lasers sweeping from both sides to the center. This laser beam is not supported by multi-shot but is still well supported by echo casting, allowing the use of the skill twice. Now let's talk about the exclusive fate bound of the Great River Snail. It called Spirit of the Great River Snail. When attacked, it blocks and reflects the damage, releasing spikes that pierce through enemies, helping to eliminate more enemies. Okay. After reading about the four orange weapons of the Great River Snail Boss, which one is your favorite? Which orange weapon of the boss do you want to see next? Please leave a comment. Alright, today's video is done. Thank you for your enthusiastic support. Thank you all. Goodbye.